Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's review of technology, we'll discover 10 of the most unusual guitars of all time. While you're at it, click the like button, share, subscribe, and press the notification bell for more updates on vital technology. When it comes to live event settings, like a concert or a musical show, most people can't help but take notice of the guitar players and how they jive to the music they're making. And when it comes to axe slingers that prove their capabilities by showing off through a lead solo, more often than not, the actual instruments they produce sound from are custom made for the purpose of a grand showcase. These great guitar design pieces are more than just its eye-catching looks. It's also for playing with comfort and pushing the creative landscape, raising the bar of appeal for all musicians alike. Some of these designs may seem unusual, but have caught the attention of followers worldwide. Oftentimes, these guitars even have specific nicknames that the artist or fans have titled, elevating these guitars to a much higher regard. Here are 10 of the most unusual guitars of all time. Number 10. The Frankenstrat An inevitable entry to this list, Eddie Van Halen's signature guitar is a combo guitar in the sense that it's custom-made to sound like Gibson but plays like a Fender. Starting off from the neck and body separately secured as used parts, Eddie experimented with different pickups, eventually ending with the humpbucker pickups, typically used in Gibson guitars. But since this particular pickup was too large for the custom-made guitar, Van Halen decided to chip away at the guitar with a chisel until he could fit the pickup inside. He removed the tone controls from the guitar and wired the tone knob directly to his pickup bay. This led to a crude Frankenstein-looking guitar, thus the name Frankenstrack. But owing to the fact that Eddie Van Halen was a rock virtuoso, who many considered as a guitar god, the Frankenstrat became equally famous. We're sure that Eddie is strumming and tapping on his favorite guitar in heaven right now. Rest in peace, Eddie. Number 9. The Dan Electro 63 Although this guitar is rather tame looking than most unusual customs, the Dan Electro 63 is known for its unique sound brought on by a hollow inner chamber that produces the resonance and its 60s era lipstick pickups with a single magnet compared to single coil pickups that have two individual magnets. The sound of this guitar stands out, providing that crunch with scooping mids and plenty of treble. This guitar launched thousands of garage bands and is just perfect for that big, funky band sound, as is evident in the famous Bruno Mars hit, Uptown Funk. Number 8. The Lego Caster Using Lego bricks and epoxy resin, designer and builder Mike Clifford made a guitar made out of Lego, calling it the Lego Caster, creating the shape of the body using a Les Paul vector file and tracing the actual shape to produce a solid guitar blank made from just Lego and epoxy. This Lego guitar is a fully functional instrument complete with pickups, bridge, and all the functioning parts, strings included. This is quite a versatile build, so when you're rocking too much of the Lego caster and a block falls off, you could just snap it back together. Number 7. Steve Vai's UltraZone Emerald Ultra Guitar Designed by Alistair Hay of Emerald Guitars for legendary guitar god Steve Vai, based on the illustration on Steve Vai's 1999 album, the Ultrazone depicting an alien looking at Steve Vai playing a futuristic looking axe. This particular piece is what Steve brought along for most of his performance tours in the early 2010s. Number 6. The St. Vincent Signature Guitar Annie Clark, better known as the artist St. Vincent, brought on her own designs to collaborate with production instrument specialist Ernie Ball Music Man to create her own signature St. Vincent Guitar. Achieving an irregular and incredible look, featuring a lightweight okame body with premium roasted maple neck with rosewood and an ebony fretboard, specifically configured with St. Vincent's signature custom inlays, is part of the signature excellence of these guitars. Aside from the impeccable tone similar to a Stratocaster or a Le Paul, this signature custom adds to St. Vincent's live overall aesthetics and is considered to be one of the coolest guitars on the market. Number 5. The Eastwood Airline 3P when having some of the options, don't cut it. The 59 3P DLX provides you with all the options. The Airline 3P from Eastwood Guitars has a historic and show-stopping Airline 59 body shape with a Bigsby tailpiece and plenty of flexible controls that command attention from your captivated audience. It has six knobs, a five-position switch, and a giant whammy bar that produced a wild, savage sound that is evident from artists like Jeff Wooden from the Gorillas, Mora Massa, and Jack White, who mostly rocked the vintage 2P and Airline 3P. Number 4. The Misa Kitara 
The Mesa Guitarra Digital Guitar is an experimental instrument similar to an electric guitar, but includes an interface designed to intuitively control digital audio, producing a synthesized sound, using motions that are referential to guitar playing. The Guitarra uses an internal wavetable synthesizer produced by a Linux CPU, making it possible to reprogram and modify existing sounds. Artists who play with experimental sounds, such as Muse and Deadmau5, have used the Mesa for music production. Number 3. The Molten Diabolic Guitar Fusing the love for guitar and industrial design, Hutchinson Guitars built the Molten Diabolic to celebrate the release of the video game Diablo 3. With the guitar's top and fretboard using LED arrays to look like molten lava, adding mystic elements and the actual shard of the Black Soul Stone from the role-playing game, this guitar is a completely eerie standout. Number 2. The Reverse Flying V with its original Flying V's 50th anniversary, Gibson celebrated the classic with the reverse Flying V, and despite its rather odd shape, the guitar sold out quickly. The guitar's headstock taken for the Futura Explorer design from the late 50s blend will reverse the V-shape. These models were released in the 2007 and 2008 series. Number 1. The Hammer 5 Neck Guitar Trix Rick Nelson is notorious for his over-the-top live guitar solos during their shows, and having owned around 2,000 guitars over his career, and has had plenty of multi-neck guitars, but no other guitar is more associated with him than his 1981 Hammer 5 neck guitar. The idea of the multi-neck guitar came from early Cheap Trick shows, where Rick would play one guitar for a section and throw it away to play another guitar that was stacked up to as much as five guitars. The multi-neck guitar was originally a six-neck, but surely, the 5-neck guitar made everything much more convenient for Nelson than strumming one and switching to another. The 5-neck is incredibly heavy and takes a rather long time to tune, considering that it has around 36 strings. It surely takes a lot of skill and godlike mastery to rock this guitar. What do you think of these unusual guitars? Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more.